Hi everybody, uh, my name is Bill Russell, I'm the Associate Dean International at the uh, University of Dundee School of Business and today we're very fortunate to have the opportunity to talk to uh, Judith Hagen Saki, who is an MSc Professional Accountancy student here at the University. Um, welcome today Judith, thank you for talking to us. Um, can we first start just by you telling us a little bit about yourself and where you've come from and how you found your way to the University of Dundee. All right, thank you so much, Bill. Um, as already said, my name is Judith. I'm from Ghana in Africa. And um, I got to start this course because I, I already have a master's from Coventry, okay. a master's in finance. So I wanted to go on and be a chartered accountant. And a friend in Ghana recommended University of Dundee this particular course so I applied and I got it and here I am. Okay so that's great listen um, I noticed that you're breaking up a little bit on the on the audio so maybe if you could turn off your video uh, everybody knows who you are now but we'll turn off your video and maybe that'll work better. Uh, sure no problem. Just on audio. All right. Oh much better. Well, I hope it's much better. So, um, okay, so already you've, you've thrown up a number of little questions there. So, um, firstly, you've done a master's in, you did an undergraduate degree in economics, I think you said, and then a master's in finance, yes. and then you wanted to become a chartered accountant, uh, and so the professional accountancy degree allows you nine exemptions, doesn't it? Nine exemptions from the ACCA uh, foundation paper. So I can I understand why you've, you've gone down that route. Uh, but you said a friend in Ghana um, recommended University of Dundee. How did they know about the University of Dundee? Um, apparently, he also had a friend who was here some years back. So he did the same MSc um, professional accountancy course. So. Okay. All right. All right. So an alumni from the, from the course uh, uh, recommended it to you. Okay. So that's good. Um, and so then you applied to Dundee. Uh, had you already been to Scotland before that? No, I'd never been to Scotland. I had been to London, but never, never to Scotland. Okay. Uh, and so uh, you travelled up. Did you come by train or car? How, how did you get to Dundee when you first arrived? I came by flight from London. Oh, okay. And you flew into Edinburgh, Glasgow? No, I flew straight to Dundee. Oh, you flew straight to Dundee Airport. Okay. All right, so that's from uh, London City, I guess, to Dundee Airport. Yes. Um, and then what were, what was your first thoughts of Dundee and the university, the campus? Well, um, I got to know, when I first got here, um, someone picked me up from the airport, so he took me around. And I realized the people here were quite friendly, much friendly, yeah, much okay. more welcoming than in London, I would say. So, I mean, I go to the university, as usual, it was a new place, so I was having difficulty finding my way around. But fortunately, the guy who, who took me around is also a former student, so he knew his way around. Okay, okay. He took me to the various departments, he showed me where I could find uh, which place and all that. So, and I think because of the, the, the directions on campus, it's much easier to find your way around. So I use Google Map a lot. So, I mean, it helped okay. me to, yeah, it helped okay. me to find around much easier. So it wasn't, it wasn't that much difficult. Okay. So when I first came here, now that's a bit longer than you ago, uh, 26 years ago, um, I was really struck by how beautiful it is with the water on the Tay and uh, sort of a slight slope on the, on the town so that you get to see from the Tay from pretty much everywhere. Um, did you, did you like the environment when you first arrived? Oh yeah, I did, I did. I mean, Dundee is not too much of a big town, so it's easy to find your way around. And yeah. It's quite unfortunate that the coronavirus has made us um, a bit indoors. I didn't get a chance to really roam around too much and sure. before yeah. this whole lockdown. So, but from the little I experienced, it was, it was a beautiful city, very peaceful. <laughs> I think you were a January intake, weren't you? You started yeah. in January this year, so you presumably you were going to explore in the summer, weren't you? That was my plan, because I arrived a bit late. I came in February, so. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
Um, so you arrived and then did you live in uh, university accommodation or did you have private accommodation? I have private accommodation. Okay, and how did you arrange that before you came? Um, um, <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but my brother, my brother is in London, so he has a friend who lives here. Oh, okay. My brother's friend also has a friend who has a guest house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so family connections, they're always very useful, aren't they? Yeah, so that's how it So I arranged for the accommodation before I even got here. Okay, so that's good. So you got your accommodation, you settled in, and then you got to meet the program leader. Was it Gisela Marston who advised you, or did you have a different advisor? Um, I didn't really get any to ad get any advice. I must say, I just zoomed into lectures when I came. Lectures had already begun. So oh, okay. I yes. just had to lectures the following day um i think my first lecture was with gisella she met me she came to speak to me and asked me where i'm coming from and asked me how i'm getting along because i was a bit late so that's how it was but as to um one-on-one -on -one with any advice i know because i came in late so so that's very good so uh, you went to the lectures and you settled in um and uh, course you've got uh, lockdown and the coronavirus at the moment so uh, you must be just about doing your exams or you've started your exams online have you yeah i have started we started last week ah okay and is that going okay um i've never done exams online was that okay for you yeah it was it's, it's a new thing but it went it went quite well it wasn't it wasn't bad it's okay 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 um so uh hopefully you get to get out a little bit more in the summer it's not clear what's going to happen um have you given thought to what you're going to do when you graduate when you finish at the end of the year at the end of the year um because this course gives me exemption for only um nine courses on the acta i plan to continue on um and then finish with the acta oh okay and, and, but will you do that while you've got a job or are you thinking of going and getting a going to another college to do that um that I'm, i haven't really decided i'm okay. still looking at the schools to see if i can get one that can help me finish otherwise i'll just work and then do it alongside okay um so and what about some highlights i know you were uh, the lockdown came and, and slowed things down for you. But what were your highlights when you first arrived? What were the things which most impressed you when you first arrived? Oh, the mode of teaching. I mean, um, though I came in late, but it was quite easy for me to sync with the rest of the class. Okay. And because okay. I realized that every question you have is really answered for you. The lecturers have time to answer everybody's question. And so when I came in, and you know, I've never done accounting before. This is my oh, first okay. accounting. So it wasn't quite easy just zooming in questions that didn't come in early. I remember I spoke to Gisela and she was really nice. She was very helpful in um, explaining things to me and trying to calm me down. So I think that um, I was impressed with the way the lecturers handled the class, the, the way they answer every question, they take their time, go through everything with you and it makes it easy. For you to just go along so yeah oh very good i'm glad that your arrival was um, so smooth i know that uh, going to well you'd already been in the uk for a little bit but i know that going to a university somewhere where you haven't been to before uh you know throws up lots of uncertainty so i'm glad that it worked out well for you yeah. um why don't you uh try turning your video back on and we can just say goodbye um see whether or not that works it's always nice to say goodbye to a face. There we are. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, any last things that you might like to say? Um, what I would like to say to anyone who is thinking of doing this course, um, I, I must say that it has helped me. Has been an eye opener. As I mentioned, I've never really done accounting before. So, um, this course has given me an in-depth understanding of basic accounting. You know, even though I had a master's in finance, finance is quite different from accounting. So okay. I just want to say anyone who wants to, um, or who has an interest in accounting, this is a nice course. The people here are very friendly. Dundee is a very beautiful city, peaceful. 
So I would just recommend this course for anyone who wants to, especially for my fellow international students, it's a nice place to just fraternize. I've met a lot of people. I mean, the group works have made it possible for us to interact with different people and then the cultural diversity and everything makes the whole learning environment very, very nice. So I would recommend this for anyone who wants to do some serious accounting or just be a particular accountant. Yeah. Have you, um, just throwing up about meeting people, did you join clubs and societies uh, since you've arrived or did you meet them through the town or your friends? How did you meet people in uh, Dundee? Oh, um, as I mentioned, because I had already arranged for my accommodation, my brother has a friend here already. Right. So um, he also met, um, arranged meetings with some of his friends. I remember we went up going for lunch with him and some of his friends. So through that, you get to meet more people. Okay. And then on campus, you know, because it's, um, we have group work and all that, the group work makes it easier to form a, a smaller circle of friends and it makes it easy to interact on that level. So okay. basically for my class, I got to interact through the, the group work, the group assignments. It was easier for me to, to associate with my friends on that level. Okay. So, yeah, and then that's how it started. So that's excellent. I'm very pleased that everything's going well for you. You are fabulous and wonderful. I hope everything goes well for the rest of the year and uh, you graduate with flying honours and then go out and capture and take over the world and do everything you need to do. Yeah, I hope so too. Really okay. Thank you very much, Judith. Look after yourself. Um, if you stay online, we can chat for a little bit afterwards as well. All okay. Right. Bye now and thanks very much. Thank you. Bye.